Hello, my name is Steve Razy. I'm a professor in the Department of Physics at the University of Windsor. I've been asked to answer the question, how can one build a lightsaber? Well, I've been working with lasers for over 20 years, and I'm also a huge science fiction fan, so I'm very interested in attempting to answer this question. First off, I can say that there are a lot of science fiction elements and technology that are visibly uh, feasible, uh, according to the laws of physics. For example, the Star Trek teleporter is something people are interested in, and scientists, physicists right now, are working on things called quantum teleportation. We have some ideas about that. How about traveling faster than the speed of light or at the speed of light? Well, with the discovery of the Higgs boson, maybe there's a way we can modify objects' mass to warp space around us and achieve this idea of the warp drive. However, the lightsaber is one thing that I think I have to answer. I don't think it's ever going to be possible. I have no idea how to build a lightsaber. Let me quickly tell you why. Everyone's familiar with what the lightsaber looks like in the Star Wars movies. I have something here that looks kind of like a lightsaber. And we're used to seeing a glowing shaft of light com coming out with a lot of cool fights coming after that. Light does two things which tells me that a lightsaber is probably not possible. One, light will never stop at the end of a sword. All right. One thing we know about light that is an immutable law of physics is that light must travel at the speed of light, 300,000 kilometers per second. It cannot stop. I know of no way, and I think scientists know of no way, where we can get a beam of light to shoot out of the end of this and stop in space somewhere. It's physically impossible. The light will continue on forever and ever and ever. So I don't see how that can ever be made to happen. And then there's something else uh, that is intrinsic to light, which is the particles of the light don't ever interact with each other. So we're all used to seeing fights with different colored lightsabers. So here I have a green laser and a red laser, and maybe it's a Jedi fighting a Sith with their different color lightsabers. And we're used to seeing these clashes. The problem is light doesn't interact with other light like that. So you notice if I take these two lasers and move them through each other, that light passes harmlessly through the other beam of light as if it's not even there. And light always interacts that way. So there's no way we're going to get that cataclysmic clash of beams when these even very intense beams of light pass through each other. They just don't interact that way. Um, and so as far as I can tell, those two physical limitations, which are fundamental to light, and we're almost positive, or we are positive, that that's how light interacts, really precludes the possibility of building a lightsaber under any kind of design that I can possibly conceive of. Very sorry to give you that answer.